was a little ironic because it was one film um, where I felt that uh, I should um, get the rights to use the film, which wasn't the case with all of the films. Uh, and I had difficulty and almost uh, decided, well, I wasn't going to include it in the film. Um, fortunately, my editor, Sing On You, convinced me that it had to be there, so it, it is, and it turned out well. Yes? Uh, he was asking why there was no uh, mention of uh, Carrie McWilliams, who, of course, wrote the classic uh, history of Los Angeles, uh, Southern California country and island on the land, why he wasn't quoted in the film. Um, probably, I guess it was, I mean, Carrie McWilliams was writing in, in um, 1943, and um, most of the uh, movies that appear here are, are more recent ones. Um, actually, uh, one one of my one of my uh, projects now is to uh, compose a book based on the film, and uh, um, I think some of Carrie Mae Williams' ideas. Particularly his treatment of the Ramona myth, uh, because it happens that for me, Ramona by D. W. Griffith is really the first Los Angeles or Southern California movie. Um, there are quite a few other people whom I quote, uh, um, David Thompson a number of times, uh, uh, David Gebhardt, and, and uh, Robert Winter in their Guide to Architecture in Southern California, which I think is a, uh, a major source for studying Southern California. And um, a number of uh, film theorists whom I uh, paraphrase, notably Hugo Munsterberg and Jules Deleuze. Um, but I, 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 I'm not sure, actually, if uh, any of these writers actually influenced my take on Southern California. It was more um, simply reading the newspapers and living here for a long period of time. Yes. Uh, you're saying that I have problems getting permission to use the clips. I, hmm? yeah, clearances. clearances. Uh, well, actually, the only the only one was the one I mentioned uh, with the exiles. Um, in other cases, I didn't have any problems because I didn't ask for <laughs> clearances, feeling that um, um, these movies are part of our uh, common cultural heritage. Um, my quotation of them is uh, a matter of fair use under copyright law. Um, this is, you know, not a independent movie, but 
rather a, a critical commentary that is written in words and images and quotations from movies. Um, so I felt um, both morally and legally justified in not seeking clearances. I I think I would have, but I feel that the uh, motion picture studios are, are rather um, irresponsible in the way that they deal with such requests. Um, I, uh, in the course of making an earlier film that also had quotations from Hollywood movies, I wrote to, um, I guess it was uh, Warner Brothers about uh, uh, just uh, one movie, and they uh, never responded to my letter. Uh, and um, you know they don't they don't make distinctions between a movie like this, which was a no budget movie and a and a ten million dollar or ten million. I meant hundred million. Uh, Hollywood movie in terms of the way they, they treat requests for the use of the footage. Um, and they seem to regard what, what's called uh, intellectual property uh, 